I always refer to this area as sort of an urban village, but because it is residential and commercial, and it has kind of everything that that you're looking for in kind of a village atmosphere, but it's. This was a thriving business district. Um, it, it was really a choice destination spot, and it was also well, similar to what we're rebuilding. It also served the community. Um, and then there is kind of mass exodus from the area. And I can tell you, it was not um, necessarily the the best site you want to see every night. Uh, the storefronts had become run down, and it just you know it did not feel good. It did not look good, and, and there were some problems. The key for Wealthy Street was the actual organization behind getting the theater renovated. Once that happened, it became a kind of an emblem for the area that people could see the potential of what was here. And I see a lot of people is moving back into this area. When years ago, they was moving out the area. But now it's nice. I would choose to move over in this area now. Now that the rejuvenation, the refurbishing, the resurgence has come along. Um, it's really encouraging and uh, we're looking forward to, to doing that. Right here on Wealthy Street, on the corner of Wealthy and Fuller, you have um, a literal crossroads of demographics. Well, you got, you got all different types of uh, business in the area, you got all different types of people in the area. Wealthy Street is bordered by uh, several like diverse communities. Uh, we have a strong African-American community, we have a strong um, Hispanic community, we have a, a strong Caucasian community that all come together uh, on the street. A lot of married couples, a lot of interracial couples, all living in this area right here. And I like that. Diversity is what attracted me here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here if there wasn't diversity. It's great. It's, um, I, th I think it's really nice when we have all uh, different types of people coming to an event, getting along, it's just, it's a good feeling. There's starting to be a real, a real good kind of community feeling, you know, a lot of, a lot of people are really, you know, engaged with one another, and it's, it is, it seems a lot safer now. You know, the worst you'll ever get is someone just doesn't say hi back. Very friendly, extremely friendly, everybody is helpful, it's more like a family. The neighborhoods around here, when you walk through the neighborhoods here, it definitely isn't like walking in the suburbs. It's, there are people, people out on their porches, they're engaging with people. It just has a really nice feel to it and a lot of good business opportunities. Do you guys go to the stores? Yeah. What's your favorite store? Wealthy Why? It's right down the street. Well, we got clothing store, we got the, got the market down the street, we got our, our restaurant, we got our bar and beauty supplies and shops, we got a little learning center, we got a bank. It's a lot, it's a, most of all like air shop around here because all of them nice. I really enjoy the, the uh, family run business aspect of it too. You don't get all the big corporate names down on these streets. It's yeah. just really, it's a really tight community down here. It's where you can go get a pair of shoes without having to go to the mall. You know, it's like... <laughs> And they're good. It's an they're alternative, <laughs> yeah. It's an alternative. It's really nice. Be able to have people walk and leave their car at one part and just be able to walk all the way up and then buy good bread, go for art class, go for a movie. Kind of like a European city. Not that I'm bad. I would like to see a lot of business for the younger generation. Something for them more to do. I would like to see other businesses come in that people can really take advantage of. You know, more stores, instead of having to go out to the strip mall or whatever, have it right here close to home. Essentially we're building different business clusters. So we have a strong cluster that's based on like home improvement um, and, and home accessories. We have a strong cluster that are service businesses and we have a strong cluster that are destination businesses. And, Really building on any of those clusters are, are what we're looking at. We have a lot of restaurants, but they are more like takeout restaurants, so we cannot sit down. The biggest thing we've been focusing on lately is trying to build more around the entertainment cluster that the theater has started. Things that people will come into the area and stay in the area. Well, I just think this street has a lot of potential, too. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, it has definitely. great potential. It's a really huge, huge connecting road from, you know, downtown to, to East Grand Rapids, and it's, I mean, 
it gets a good flow of people. Yeah. There are a variety of tax incentives available for businesses moving into the area. We've created a, a program where we will offer special low interest loans for improvement. Additionally, this is the Renaissance Zone, so there's tax abatements for both local and state taxes. Historic Rehabilitation Tax Credits would provide a 25% tax credit for 25% of whatever the reconstruction cost was. With what's happened already here in the way of improvements and new business coming in and the potential, it's, um, it's exciting. If love was a train, I think I would ride me a long way. Hear yeah, the talking, talking, I'm 50 bucks cause long. Oh, what the use? Most trains these days ain't got no engine, much less no cable.